Hello, and welcome to this What's New video for Inspect Build 7710. Today, I want to go through some of the new features that we've added in for this build for you. Now, we've added in a lot of great features as well, so let's get right into it. Um, so one of the first things that we've done for you in this build is we, we've updated the API 579 to the 2016 version. So any damage mechanism we model and run now will be done to the 2016 version of the API 579. Now, in front of me, we have a little pipe hanger um, that I brought in. This was actually brought in um, as a PCF file. I exported it from AutoCAD Plant 3D. Um, so we're going to use that for an example. And you can see here I've got pitting on this vertical pipe. I've got metal loss in my horizontal pipe here. But I also have this new damage mechanism right here that I'm circling around. And this is now a dent. Um, so one of the things we did for this build is we added in part 12 uh, dents, gouges, and dent gouge combinations. So what you'll do is simply come up to the API 579 menu and just select part 12 right here and we can model it. So I'm just going to right click on this damage mechanism. This allows me to edit it and we can have a look at the dialog quickly. So the dialogs are set up very similar to the rest of the damage mechanisms. Uh, you know, we select do you want to do level 1, level 2, what the damage type is, whether it's a dent, a gouge, or both. Um, you know, part 3 brittle fracture assessment, would you like to perform that, things like that. And then basic information about the damage mechanism. Now we've added, added images here for you so you can see, well, what do we mean by, you know, the, uh, the unpressurized condition, the, the gouge depth, things like that. So there's images now in here to help you with that as well. So that's been added in um, for build 7710. Now I just mentioned to you that I brought this in as a PCF file. It's a piping component file. Um, in 7710, we can actually now export PCF files as well. So if you want to make this model really quickly. You guys have seen videos of me doing it. It doesn't take long. Well, we can actually export it so we can go back to a plant layout um, department or program that way as well. All right, so I've got a couple files here, so I'm just going to switch over to another one here. So uh, this other pipe run, I made this really, really quickly, but we've also increased some of the modeling capabilities, uh, things like, you know, putting blinds on flanges. Uh, we put that in. And then we can also put API 570 CMLs on pipe caps as well. So that's going to be available for you in 7710. All right, let me switch over to my vessel here. Now, if you guys have seen my videos before, I usually like to use this vessel. It's a personal favorite. Um, but we've added a couple more options for the API 579. And I'm going to right click on this damage, damage mechanism right here. This is my metal loss. And this is a part five local metal loss. Now, the things that we've added in for the 579 are the ability to track this flaw, uh, the measurements over time. So if I check this option, we'll provide you an option to create new inspections or add a flaw to an existing inspection. Now, why is this useful? Well, if you go out and we make our assessment, we take our measurements and we determine, yes, this vessel is still fit for service, great. Well, I want to come back in a month and have a look at it. I want to take new measurements or I want to do it in six months, but I want to be able to compare and see, did this change over that time? Um, you know, ideally, no, but if it does, okay, maybe we need to run another assessment or have a look and see what's going on with this damage mechanism. So we can now do that in uh, build 7710. And finally, we add in the remaining life calculations for you. So you just, simp if it's something you want to perform, you just check the perform remaining life calculation checkbox, enter in the information, and we'll run those calculations for you um, as well. So those are what we added in um, specifically for inspect for this build. Now we added in a lot of other features. Um, I've also done a what's new video for our compress program. So all the features that we add in for compress are also available in inspect. Things like nozzle copy and paste. So if you need to copy a nozzle and paste it, we can do that. We added things in like uh, shipping saddles. We have the API 660 loads, uh, material schemes, a lot of really good productivity enhancements um, for our users as well. Now, if you want to see a full listing of all of the features, uh, and fixes, you just simply come up here to the help menu and select view history. Now if you're new to Codeware and you want to see a little bit more, I encourage you guys give us a call. Our number is 941-927-2670 or email sales at codeware.com and we would be happy to go through our program and show you guys how we can better assist you um, with your job and what you're doing. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video and I hope I talk to you soon.